The GPW would like to take the opportunity to officially and publicly thank the Cabinet of Grenada um, for their decision to actually pay um, the workers for those outstanding years. We are not fully satisfied in that the cycle covers 23 to 25 and they're only paying 23 to 24. Um, but in that, we realize that, you know, sometimes there has to be some form of com compromise and ultimately we have to work collaboratively to find a way um, to ensure that workers attain a standard of living um, in growing inflation and cost of living. President of the Grenada Public Workers Union, Brian Grimes. The Grenada Public Workers Union, GPWU, has expressed its satisfaction with the Cabinet's decision to approve over $1 million EC dollars to honor outstanding salary and wage increases for the faculty and staff at the T.A. Marichaux Community College, Tamsi C. The announcement follows approximately three weeks after mild protest action by TAMCC workers over delayed payments of negotiated salary increases. As of last cabinet sitting, the cabinet has approved the sum of $1,201,848.25 in to honor salary increases for the faculty and staff of the T.M. Marisho Community College as follows. 4% for 2023, 4% for 2024. Education Minister David Andrew. He said an agreement was reached with the College Council during a meeting on January 9th called to discuss the challenges associated with the routine payment of negotiated salary adjustments for public officers and the Grenada Union of Teachers to be paid across the board with TAMCC workers. And so I was a little taken aback and surprised when Around independence or shortly after that, I heard there were industrial grumblings and media appearances and utterances by some um, union personnel talking about government's unwillingness and wanting to pull back. And that left me feeling very disappointed, given the spirit of the discussions that we had. Grimes responded to the minister's remarks, noting that the union did its best to not ventilate the eight-month-old matter in the public domain. And I want to register the fact that the union did its utmost to keep this matter as private as possible, having sent um, at least five pieces of correspondence to the council of the T.M. Marisho Community College to handle this matter. No one likes workers grumbling, um, but the, the truth of the matter is parties have to meet each other on their half. You cannot have um, underpaid workers or workers whose salaries are frozen and expect them to be of high morale and highly productive or, you know, just in a, in a peaceful state of mind. That, that is something that would be unrealistic. Apart from the fact that a collective bargaining agreement does not exist, Minister Andrews said there is a disparity in the application of the increases to the various category of workers, including lecturers, cleaners, groundsmen, which presents acute challenges in terms of sustainability. He said the ministry now awaits a draft collective bargaining agreement, which is to be developed by the union in collaboration with the council for consideration going forward. So when this was spoken of, we readily agreed um, to get in a CBA done. Um, in fact, it was presented um, to the hierarchy of TAMCC in the middle of January, and we propose a date um, for negotiations for that said CBA. So we have proposed two dates um, thus far. Um, we have not gotten an official response as yet, uh, but we will keep trying. It is expected that the new agreement would be finalized for implementation commencing January 2025. The government says it has paid over $10 million in the last 14 months to TAMCC workers in outstanding salary increases for the period 2017 to 2022. For GBN News, Nisha Paul.